Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet, this is of course Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. As you can see, I've worked a bit on the wall, and I've got another system down there which you don't know about yet, but I will introduce in just a bit. I've worked a bit more up here, uh, prettied it up a bit, added some security systems and measures and so forth so that this, deck, this guy doesn't get totally annihilated by zombies immediately if there's a breach. Um, but of course these doors are still breakable, so he, they could just get right in anyway if they break them. But at least they'll have to break through to- They at least have to get through two doors in order to get to the villager. Um, so that's better than having it wide open like it was. Um, and I've installed this minecart track, which I've since realized is completely useless. Um, it allows this guy to take a nice vacation off to a little vantage point over there so that he can overlook a nice vista. But... Otherwise, it will do absolutely nothing. I was sort of planning on being able to shut this thing off, but uh, as anyone who knows villager mechanics knows, I'm, this isn't actually some kind of a cult ritual. It's 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 actually just a villager uh, multiplier thing. And this is the villa This is the village up here. The six doors um, that constitute the village, and the villagers down there are well within the 16 blocks in order to activate them as doors to a village. So that guy being up here is actually I don't know if he's totally necessary but he's not like I don't know I don't think taking him away would stop the thing um, I'm not sure what it would do but I don't think it would stop it I can experiment later though but for now right now what I want to do is begin working with said um, interesting device down there uh, by doing this Aha! Hooray. Um, so as you can see, a uh, villager in minecart comes out of there and goes right to here. Um, and this means that I can um, then look at his trade and see five emeralds for a shovel. Goodness gracious, sir! What what are you what do you what do you take me for? What what kind of fool do you take me for? And if I really don't like the trade, then I can switch this and actually send him off on his way to a different place by pressing this button and activating the uh, um, powered rail beneath him. Um, I could do it, but I don't really have a good way of getting him back. Um, or I can... Um, I don't know. S send him somewhere else is really the main option. Uh, but the next step is to flip this lever um, so that this track flips. Uh, and go grab another villager. I'm going to run out of minecarts really quickly, I know that. Uh, I've only got the second one here, but at least I can do that. Nope, that's wrong, that's wrong. No, 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 no. There aren't enough in there to really be jam-packing it full. Which is why I wanted the, um, minecart, or the... Bleh. The um, dispenser in the far wall there, which I really should have installed before I put the villagers in. That was a very stupid mistake. But, um... Not gonna hop in? Nobody gonna hop in? Nobody? Nope. 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 Nobody gonna hop in. Okay. Uh, so... Oh! They just shifted around a little bit. Maybe I can... Yep. I can get somebody. Okay, cool. Uh, I really kind of want a farmer first, because I need to get one of those opening trades. I don't have any emeralds to trade at this stage, so I can't really do much with any of that. Uh, so let me let me go see if I can scrounge up more iron. Uh, but yeah, I, I continued the wall a bit, and I think I've got the entire place um, locked down. Uh, I've gone through with even more torch spam. As you can see, I got like the top of the church and the tops of the things and so forth and so on. Um, I think anywhere that zombies could possibly have spawned... Ooh, except for the top of the wall there. That's an issue. Uh, so I still don't want to get... Uh, I still don't want to let it get night around here, but... It's certainly very close to being fully secure. Um, and I'm just being really overly cautious, because I don't want... I want this entire area to be completely secure, basically. Um, and I haven't had time to really go through with a fine-tooth comb and... Uh, make sure that like every single block is spawn proof. I will do that eventually, but not yet. Uh, so there's two more carts at least. I think I've got more iron someplace, so I can grab that later. But for now, I can drop this in and see 
how this goes. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how things are shaping up in this world so far, and I cannot wait to get into villager trading properly. And I'm thinking that I'm actually going to let the um, trading sort of dictate where I go with this world to some degree. Did I flip the lever? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, like for example, when um, when one of the um, villagers requires a ah, yes. This is my key to success right here, I think. Um, so one, one of the villagers demands... Um, wheat is a bad example because um, obviously I've already got bunches and bunches of wheat farms uh, all around pre-made, uh, already all set for me. But um, when one guy wants like raw chicken, for example, I have no way of getting raw chicken properly. Um, so I might make a drowning machine of ultimate cruelty, uh, someplace to suit my needs at that stage of things. No, 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 don't, 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 don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's not what it sounds like. <laughs> it's not what it sounds like, it's, it's not that I'm, I, dr drowning chickens and things in, 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 in pools of water the second that they grow up or anything, it's, it's not nearly as terrible as that. No, no, of course not, of course not, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. It's all just fine. It's all fine. Um, so that is an excellent example. All right, so I'll probably be getting going with that relatively soon. Um, but then uh, let's see. I did, in fact, uh, whack out the area here and put in a door. I think it works a bit nicer. I. Uh, gives the area slightly better feel, feels more like the way it should, I think. That top area does kind of feel like an entry area. Uh, what am I doing? I need to harvest some wheat. I can do that, and then do some more trading. Uh, after that, maybe I'll... maybe they will have bred a little bit more, and I will have be able to more villages, or, um, do, do, do more trading with more villagers, we shall see. Um, but yeah, eventually, um, the villager maker will have to go elsewhere, uh, because I do have plans to make this entire thing entirely open again. The whole, uh, locking them away in tiny spaces is only temporary. This will be, uh, wide open, um, I keep telling them it's for their own good, but they, they, they are definitely starting to feel a bit cooped up. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll, just as soon as it's, you know, watertight. I just really don't want any disasters to happen, basically. So, so we shall see where that ends up hap where that goes and how that ends up happening and so forth. Um... And the cool thing is, I've got spawn chunks right over there, so I'll be able to, um, at some point relatively soon, do a proper spawn chunk test, uh, drop down a bunch of useless items uh, in a line, leading from where I know the spawn chunks are to where I believe they aren't, find where the items, you know, start despawning, basically, uh, when I'm out of the area. Uh, so, like, go into the nether for five minutes and then or like 10 minutes or something, just be safe, and then come back, see where there's sort of a line where they stop despawning, um, and then use that to figure out where the spawn chunks actually are, and then drop the um, iron farm eventually in the said spawn chunks uh, so that it will always be loaded. Uh, and that kind of thing. One short, of course. Yeah. Um, and I can probably set up a bigger wheat establishment someplace to get more bang for my buck with that particular trade. Out of curiosity- oh no, he wouldn't have unlocked another trade. Silly me. Uh, so let's see, maybe I should get going with the, um, Chicken Drowner of Ultimate Cruelty, uh, right about now. I think anything I'm more or less build around here, um, for the purpose of trading will probably be more or less temporary. Uh, all this is probably going to be temporary. I'll make a proper trading hall someplace. Uh, that might stay. I'm not sure. At least for the aesthetics. Uh, but even that might not. I'm probably going to make this... I'm, I'm planning on expanding the city. Uh, so that it'll... Or at least, you know, town. I don't know. 
uh, depends on how it'll end up looking when I'm done, but basically filling it in, populating the streets, and making it all look, you know, nice, and sort of focusing a decent amount on each little nook and cranny so that it all looks uh, good from every angle and that kind of thing. All out, you know, like you would expect from me. Uh, and that kind of thing. Oh, here's another wheat farm that I can snag while I'm at it. Uh, so let's see. Is there anything else that I've been up to lately? Don't think so. That's pretty much it. So I think I'll more or less crack on with trying to get some of that set up. That's going to, um, I think I'll head over to my other bases, see if I can find some iron, um, see if I can, uh, rustle up some eggs from the, um, chicken pen that I've got going over in the backstage base, and then I pretty much go from there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so I'll go and get going with that kind of thing, and check back with you once I've made some progress. Alright, the chickens are uncooperative and didn't have any eggs when I came over here, but I realized as I was putting together the rest of the supplies that I would need uh, that I'm probably going to need a comparator, and that means at least one. Uh, and that means a trip to the nether, so here we go. And here we are. Off to look for quartz. Basically, I'm just going to get the first easy quartz that I can get, and then move on. Uh, cause I am not feeling any kind of ambitious or anything. Um... Easy quartz? Easy quartz? There's... Mm, it's sort of easy. Is there any really easy quartz? Um... No extremely easy quartz, so I'll just go for this. I'll just go for this stuff right up here. Do I have... I'm not, I, I didn't plan this well at all, so I've got all kinds of crazy stuff on me. Not Nothing really, really amazingly good, but some stuff that I probably shouldn't have brought. Ah, uh, but it's all good. Uh, so let me get this quartz. I wish that I had a fortune pick. I would use that. Oh well, now that I'm getting into villager trading, I should be able to get all that sort of thing going relatively soon. That's a ghast. I'm going to go ahead and bugger off before I get myself into deep trouble. Okay, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm out of here. I'm I'm gone. I am very much gone. I'm totally and completely gone. You would never even have known that I was here except that some quartz is missing. Okay. So back on through and if there are any eggs at all, which there shouldn't be cuz the chunks probably haven't been loaded. I mean, they will have been loaded for a grand total of like 2 minutes or something maximum. Uh, which I don't think I was even away that long, so. Yo, yeah, no. Dratted chickens. Alright. So I'll go ahead and sleep quickly to preserve the daylight. Boop doop boop beep 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 bop 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 That is entirely realistic. I actually sing when I'm trying to get to sleep in real life all the time. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. What do I need? I've got the redstone. I've got the dispenser. Got some nether quartz. I should probably drop off the nether rack because I'm not going to need that. So I just need eggs. Do I not have any eggs anywhere? I don't think I do. So this might have to wait just a little while until I actually have some eggs to work with, but these chickens are being inconvenient. Um... Uh, actually, you know what, I'll just harvest some sand for a little while or something, um, and wait for these guys to produce some eggs, and I'll be right back once I've got at least some to work with. Uh, so, back in just a few. Okay, back here again, uh, which means that I do in fact have, uh, I've got two stacks of eggs, uh, so hopefully it'll be enough. Um, I've got my dispenser, I'm just... Zombie? Must be underground. I'm going to assume that it's safe and that my world is not about to come crashing down upon me. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I need to... What am I doing? I need to make myself... Okay, yeah, hopper. Uh, to... No, I'm going to need... 
Oh, wow, okay. Yes, indeed. I will make a chest. Chest is the first step. Second step is iron around the chest. There we go! There's a hopper. That is how you make a hopper, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. So, a bit like this, and then like this, and then maybe like that, I guess. Um, so the general idea is I'm gonna go ahead and wall this off and all that kind of good stuff. I'll put some glass in front here for a nice viewing area. If I was doing this up properly, I'd probably use stained glass or something to be a bit more fancy, but mm, whatever. Go ahead and make some more smooth sandstone. Get this finished up. Um, and I am going to need to... Hmm, I'm going to need to do something here. Uh, so I'm going to need to detect uh, when uh, an egg is in here and then bring the signal out from that to immediately fire the thing. Uh, so I think I'm gonna shoot to try and pull the signal out like that. Let me make myself the comparator. That would help. Uh, I need the comparator in order to make the thing, so... Three of these. Do I have smooth stone? Of course I don't. I dropped it off. Um... Do I have any closer to home? That's random nonsense. That's where I put the ice. Okay, that's good to know. Um, grab some smooth stone for this comparator here. Preparedness! Good to see. Always nice to be sure that you know what you're doing before you start recording. <sighs> Alright. And no smooth stone. Awesome. Awesome. Do I have any cooking? No, I was cooking charcoal. Of course. Good gracious me. Okay. You know what? I need exactly three. One, two, three. Uh, let me actually grab the rest of that because I can see that I'm running low on... No, I'm not. I'll drop that off and just... Whatever. That's good enough. I'll, I'll just... Whatever. 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 Uh, so, one, two, three, and I will go ahead and process this down into planks, and I happen to know that exactly two planks equals three uses in a furnace. So I just dumped in two planks, and that will exactly smelt down the cobblestone without any waste. That is one of my major pet peeves, is when people waste fuel uh, by um, not making the most of it. Charcoal and coal each have eight uses. Um, and that's the main one. Then planks are one and a half, and then sticks are half, saplings are half, I think wood tools are either one or one half, I can't remember which. Uh, but you'd better believe that I would look it up before doing it, uh, because that is the way I am. No, there we go. Okay, so there's my comparator. That's what I needed. Uh... So, back over to here, where I'm gonna be setting up the horrific and terrible trap of terrible horrificness. Um, uh, which will be pragmatic, but ultimately mentally scarring. Uh, so, when there is anything in there, this will turn on. I don't think I'm going to put too many chickens up here. Basically, chickens will lay eggs into this, and then the dispenser will fire them out into the little thing there. Uh, there will be little chicken chicks there. I actually built this wrong. Uh, this would not be like that. Uh, this would be open uh, with water here, uh, and then this would be closed up on top. Uh, I'll put the water in later. Do I have water? Oh, I do have water. I will do it now, then. So the little chicks will be able to just hang out there on top of the half slab without um, drowning. But the baby chickens will grow up into full-sized chickens, and then those will suffocate in a really terrible and horrific way. Because that's, that's what needs to be done. Um, so let's see. 
I am going to need to sleep momentarily. How can I bring the signal around? Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a particularly elegant way of doing this. I'm probably going to... I'm, pl I'm planning on routing it into the top. Uh, I am bad at doing redstone on camera. Uh, we have established this. So I might just cut away here. I'll cut away, um, sleep, and figure this out, and then I will be right back with the finished design. That's how I'll do it. Alright, uh, so it's a clumsy and imperfect design, but dispenser there, uh, repeater coming out of the block adjacent to the dispenser, so it will actually carry through the, um, awareness of the state of the dispenser through the block, um, it's a nice little thing about the way comparators work. Uh, transmits up to this, which the dot transmits into the repeater, which drops back right into the block adjacent to the dispenser, so it um, immediately automatically fires. Um, kind of big, kind of clunky, kind of... And it's like, it's not clocked or anything, so it's not gonna, you know, automatically pulse multiple times, but because I don't plan to have too many chickens in here, it'll probably only be firing one egg at a time, so it probably won't be an issue. Throw a trapdoor on the top here, uh, so the, I don't know, so they don't fly away. They don't do that. It's okay. Uh, but whatever, for looks, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Um, and I'll, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other trapdoor. Probably put in the chest somewhere and never look at it again, but here we go. Chickens, hopefully I get a chicken. Okay, already. Well, that one will be over there then. I will hit chickens with eggs. And whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was that was a quadruple chicken. They're all outside of the thing now. Oh well. Um Alright, so there's one in there. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Um And all of the rest of the chickens are all over the place, so <laughs> oh well. Uh, but we do have one in there, and that'll be good enough at least to get this thing started. Um, and, you know, over long periods of time, it'll be a drip feed sort of thing. Uh, which is all that I really need. Uh, at least at this stage of things. So, uh, very good, very good. And was there anything else? That was pretty much it at this stage. Um, so, oh, I was going to check to see if there are any more villagers. Um, there are not. So I guess at this point I'll just... Um, actually, I think I'll edit down the footage that I have, see how long it is, see what I've got so far, and if appropriate, end the episode, and if I've still got more time to fool around with, I'll do something else. Alright, just a little bit of time left in the episode. Uh, I'm here at the Cartographer's Cradle, here to introduce um, what I'm going to do for the rest of the video, which is... I'm, I'm setting myself up for a cliffhanger here, and I know it, but I am going to go off on a massive expedition sort of adventure thing. Uh, I'll probably get just a little ways and then cut and come back and so forth. We'll see. Uh, I don't imagine that... I mean, I might get ridiculously lucky and find what I'm looking for pretty quickly, but I don't... I, I probably won't. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. Uh, but, spoiler alert, I am in fact looking for dark oak wood, uh, specifically saplings. Uh, so I'm looking for a covered forest, roofed forest sort of thing. Uh, I have no idea how far I'm going to go. I'm going this way because I think I explored it the least uh, when I was doing my exploring a little while ago. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, and I, I think I'm just gonna pretty much go, and then I'll, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll cut here and I'll bring you back if anything interesting happens. Uh, maybe later I'll, you know, show more about the, you know, sort of explore the directly adjacent, uh, terrain on camera and so forth and so on. Uh, I'll show you how things connect up, but for now, I'm mostly just focused on getting through this terrain, getting to the new terrain, and then finding interesting things there. Uh, so I'm just gonna just cut right past this and show it to you later if it becomes uh, worthy of interest. Uh, so back when and if I come across something interesting. Well, here it is. 
uh, the end of the loaded chunks uh, at you know, before, and the beginning of the newly generated train. I was hoping to avoid ocean, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, a jungle. This might be the first time I've seen a pumpkin in a jungle. Now, this is in the old terrain. Uh, if it was new, then I'm probably I'd probably be seeing melons right now. I don't think I have melons in this world yet, so that would be cool. But alas. All right. After following the shoreline for a while to stay on dry land rather than having to wade through water, I am finally transferring over to newly generated terrain. Uh, this looks like some. Nah, uh, it's it's not Podzil. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe I'll find some. I'll I'll we'll see what I find. I'll 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 just let the generation happen and see what it gives me. So south and just a little bit west, I've found myself some very pretty flowers. I'm taking samples, and I will proceed from here. I'm sort of following along the edge between this traditional forest and uh, some mountains over there. Uh, so hopefully the temperatures will work out to be about right. Did I get... yeah, I got some peonies. Okay, good. Um, yeah. No luck yet. Still looking. Roses. Flower forest. Ha ha. Good times. But still no, still no. no roofed forest, sadly. Oh man, oh man. Just rendering in. It's just rendering in. Here it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thought that I would be at this for hours and hours. Uh, I almost am. <laughs> I almost have been. Uh, but yes, happy ending, happy ending. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this very quickly. Uh, but I think that's going to be pretty much the end of the episode. Uh, swamp all around here, no witch huts though. Uh, got my hopes up, but unfortunately they must be quashed once again. Uh, whatever, whatever, it's no big deal. I did get my dark wood, so I'm happy. I'm very happy. Uh... And I guess I will leave it until next episode for you guys to see what I'm so excited about Dark Oak about. Like, more than usual. More than usual. I love the stuff, but I was going to make do without it for a while. But I've got a special project that requires it very specifically, which is why I set off in such a hurry. Uh, so I will... It's probably not a big surprise to a decent number of you, but whatever. Um, I, will, I will get back to you next time and give you more... Uh, details about this. Oh, it's a nice big one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a nice, this is a nice biome. I really like these things. But so thanks a lot for checking out my video, and there's lots more to come, so keep watching. However, with that, I'll conclude this episode and bid you farewell for now. As the lag strikes. <laughs> uh...